Hi, I'm Emily from Life So Savory, and today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make swimwear for kids. So here's a cute little basic swimsuit that I made, and I've been loving using fold-over elastic to finish the edges. This just eliminates the double-step process of installing the normal elastic or the regular method that you would use to install elastic. So by using fold-over, we have a one-step process for finishing the raw edges of this bathing suit. So let's take a look at this one. I've sewed up the side seams and the shoulder seam and I've got it all ready to be finished. Now you could sew on elastic, fold it over and sew it again, or we can just use this fold over elastic for a one step finish. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So we start by cutting our elastic to the proper length and then we're going to overlap the edges and zigzag them together. So we'll do that really quickly on the sewing machine and then we'll be able to pin it on and get it ready to sew. I'm using a different color thread so that you'll be able to easily see what I'm doing. But like on this first example, I would definitely use coordinating thread so that you don't see your stitching on the final result. All right, so let's find this leg hole that I've prepared. I've trimmed off the stitches and we're ready to install this or put this on. Generally, elastic is cut at about 90% of the width or the length of your opening, and I've done that already. So I like to start by putting the seam I just sewed on one of the um, seams of the bathing suit and then finding the other half of the elastic. So here is about the other half, and then we're gonna put that on the other seam and we fold it over, and then we're just using pins to secure it in place. And then basically what you're going to do is stretch and pin in a few other places so that you're ready to sew. All right, so now that we have it sort of tacked in place, we can begin sewing. As you sew, you wanna make sure that the fabric is sandwiched between the two layers of the elastic. I'm using a zigzag stitch to accomplish this. We wanna make sure that that fabric is inside the fold of the elastic. A helpful tip is not only to pull a little bit with this hand to stretch it, but also to use a hand in the back of the suit to stretch, especially over bumps or places that are a little bit harder to sew. And when you get to the next pin, then I just open it and adjust. And at this point, we need to stretch and make sure that that fabric is inside the elastic again. And I just kind of do this in quarters as I go around. The fabric seems to lay nicely inside the elastic and doesn't really need excessive pinning, just a few places along the way to keep it in, in check. Looks like I put my pin on the wrong side of the fabric. Let's get that out, okay? So then, again, just double check everything. The fabric is inside the elastic. Continue to sew around. I'm gently tugging from the back, not too strongly. We don't wanna stretch it out. And I'm using my front hand to make sure I guide the stretch that it's inside the elastic. As we near the final stretch, we just wanna make sure that, again, everything is nicely enclosed, and then you will want to make sure that you backstitch when you finish so that this doesn't come undone when you're at the pool or the beach. But you can see with the fold-over elastic, it's an easy way to finish the swimsuit and create a cute look for summer.